That was my first, this story is my first ride in a jet airplane. Oh yeah. It was a Boeing 707, went from Denver to San Francisco. I'm sorry, I think it was LA, but it wouldn't make a difference. To visit IBM. And I, had, and I had been the one guy in the organization, this was in the, I guess, early 60s, whatever, that had found this uh, system that IBM had written and I thought it made a lot of sense. It was called Fortran. Now many of you know what that is now, but then it was something new because we wrote a basic in either machine language or a pseudo machine language that was translated. Well, very few people thought it would stick. They said, that's a fad, that'll go away. You gotta you know, write code efficiently and all that stuff and it doesn't do it. But I decided to try it. I convinced my boss to let me try it on a project. And it was great. I mean, I did it a lot faster, of course, and then, you know, you said A equals B plus C kind of things and everything worked fine. But there was no documentation on it. Again, documentation. And this was just given to me by an IBM salesman saying, here's this thing. And I, so I had to call out to LA all the time to this one guy in IBM and say, what's era code 56? And he'd say, oh, it's divide by zero. And I said, <laughs> so I told this IBM guy, I said, hey, is there any way we could get them to write these error codes down so we could get on the road to this thing? And, and so all of a sudden I get this call from my boss and he comes in with the IBM salesman there and he says, Leroy, they want you out in LA. Would you be willing to go out there and meet this guy and, and help him document this stuff? I said, sure. And so I took my airplane, I, I flew a Martin 404 from Wichita to Denver, which is yeah. it, and uh, then got on a jet, and that was my first jet flight. And so I sat down with him, and, uh, and we documented the error codes. So sometimes he didn't even remember, and we had to make mistakes and run them to get, okay. get the error code back. But this guy wrote this software just to check out IBM computers. They had no intention of releasing it as a product. Oh, yeah, and so they just used them to check out hardware to make sure everything worked. And, but as other people got onto it, obviously it was a thing of the future and it was just that big jump that occurred between you know machine language basically programming and something that was written in mathematical terms at least where you could write out the code. Uh, and that was a fun project.